Hello everyone. Today's project is a generator. It has a Briggs and Stratton engine on it. It is a 10 horsepower Briggs engine and won't run. I've already cleaned out the carburetor. Everything looked real good in there. We have a new spark plug. <clears throat> um, it was making a bit of a funny noise um, to my ear when I was trying to start it. Um, let me show you. See, it kind of sounds like air is escaping somewhere, so I'm beginning to think it might be a head gasket. So it had fuel because I sprayed starting fluid in there and I could hear it popping so it has spark. Um, so the only other thing it could be is compression and with that air noise, that puffing noise, um, I'm assuming it's a head gasket. First thing I do when I assume it's a head gasket like that is I look down here on the head. Look at the bolts, they're all half inch down there. And you know, sure enough, put my hand down here and I could wiggle a couple of these bolts so they're loose so I'm sure that's where the problem is now when you find a loose head bolt or two um, you need a new head gasket let's do it this is how loose they were and this one this one was Pretty loose too, as well as that one. So we need to order a head gasket. So I've taken the um, gas tank off. It was just four bolts here, 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 and here. It was a 10 millimeter. Now I can get to the head. I've loosened all the head bolts. And it looks like we'll be able to take this thing off, hopefully without having to take off the engine shroud here. like I have to take off these two. Let's say uh, three eighths. Uh oh. Gonna have to find that bolt. Well since I dropped a bolt down in there um, I'm gonna have to take this cover off. I think I might have to remove the fuel pump here and then we just have two bolts on each side. Oh, I have all the bolts out. The head should just come off right now. Perfect. And here's how you can tell if your gasket, is, your head gasket is bad. You can actually see where this one has blown out. Let me try to focus in on that for you. See those marks there? That's where hot combustion gases were escaping the combustion chamber and blowing out the side. That was that puffing of air we were hearing. And I'm just turning the flywheel here just to make sure that none of the valves are frozen or anything like that. I'm looking inside the cylinder and it all looks pretty smooth. So I think we're good. I might scrape off a little bit of this carbon on top of the piston. You want to be very careful when scraping gaskets as well as the top of your piston here. You don't want to dig into the metal. Just remove the gasket material that's left. And you want to get it as flat and as smooth as possible all the way around this gasket surface. I'm also going to scrape off some of the uh, carbon material around the valves here.
I'm going to clean the carbon off the head here too. You can see that stuff. It's good to get that out of there. And you can see my gasket surface is becoming really smooth and clean. That's how you want it. So here's a close-up of this cylinder surface here. Hopefully you can get a good view of that. Nice and smooth. And you can see right there is where we have the the burn marks from where the head gasket blew out. So that's how you can tell if you have a bad head, head gasket is you'll get these burn marks and because that's where the combustion gases are escaping the chamber here and leaking out to the side. So we're ready for a gasket. Now there's how it's supposed to be clean. I went back and still found there was some carbon in some certain spots so I removed all that and uh, managed to, to get most of that soot off of there too as well. I got the gasket here. I usually use genuine Briggs and Stratton parts but uh, I was able to get this right down the road from Napa and the part number is 7-02438 and I think it'll be sufficient to do the job. We'll find out. Here's a good way to put on the head gasket. I have the head here. I have two bolts coming out. I'm just going to use those to hold this gasket in place and put it on like this. Now it should still be lined up. Yep, we're good. That's the easiest way to do it. So out of all these head bolts, you do have one that's longer and you want to make sure you put that back in um, where you pulled it out from. And quite frankly, I can't remember which hole I pulled it out from. You can see a couple of these are taller. Uh, so. I'm sure it was one of those. I'll have to review that tape and see where I used it. I don't, I don't think it matters that much on this engine, but I'm going to check just to make sure. Well, according to the manual, it's one of these, one, this one, this one, or this one that should be the long bolt. Or it says they may all three be longer than the rest of the bolts. The strange thing is, when I took this thing apart, it was this one that was the long bolt when I reviewed the tape, which makes no sense because if you look at it here, you can see those posts there are higher. So, you know, after all this stuff is attached here, I think this is going to be the one that needs to be the longest. So because it's going to have to go through those two components. So I'm going to use this one as the long one. I don't think it'll hurt anything if it's not correct because there's plenty of threads on all these to cinch down tightly. Max is wanting to check it out too. Hi, Max. Looking away on this thing and I look up and that's what I see all the time. And then I have this one right here watching. So they help out. So be careful how you route your wires you don't want to pinch anything okay I believe that's how everything was and once again I'm gonna put the long one right there just cuz Phew, that's a lot of turning. That's not going to help my carpal tunnel. Okay, so here is the tightening sequence. And you'll want to tighten these to 165 inch pounds, not foot pounds, 165 inch pounds. And I have a inch pound wrench here I'll be doing that with.
All right, time to test this baby out. I'm gonna have to hold the choke open with my finger because I don't have that plate on yet. I recommend after you heat this thing up real good the first time um, after it cools off you want to retorque those head bolts just to make sure if anything uh, stretched and loosened up you can uh, retorque it that's my recommendation it's not in the manual but it's something I do take care folks